Hi hey guys, welcome to this episode of Kung Fu Report, where we talk about classical Kung Fu and its application. Chris, can you please come in? On the last episode, I did an application for the man side movement, which is in the third form of Wing Chun. And I demonstrated off a reference point for counter trapping. So when Chris comes in, that's the man side, we can come in in different angles. So we got some messages after that episode, and people are asking how else can you use a man side. There's many ways. One of the ways is you can use a man side to open up the neck area. Because a lot of times when people are training, when they fight, they put their chin down, their shoulders up to protect their neck, right? So you can open up that neck actually. Here. Using a man style, resist Chris? Okay. These guys are really strong, they can't move them, right? But if you actually cup it in an angle, you can't resist because it's a circular angle. So this is very good for that. And on the other side, you can do the same thing. Here, it opens it up. And then also, Chris, come in hard. If he pushes through it now, he can knock me off balance, right? But, push harder, Chris. If I push on this angle, push harder, Chris, he can still knock me off balance. But if I use the man side angle, he pushes hard, he doesn't have me down. It's just the way the nature of the curve. So when he comes in like this, he can open up the guy, and then he can step to attack, right? Yeah. You can also work this off a straight shot, or any form of trapping. He blocks from here. There it is again. So this is a very versatile technique, right? Another way you can use a man side is against a side ambush, and also how to take down a guy's guard when he has his hands up and you don't know which way he's gonna punch. And there's also low shots and also against attack. We don't have time to go over all that. If you're interested in this kind of work, please go to the full immersion program on our website, amchangkungfu.com. When we get back, I'll give you some solo tip how to train the movement we just did today. All right, guys, today's solo tip. Chris, can you please come in? So a minute ago when I moved Chris's neck, right? It's not just a matter of forcing him. Because if the nature of the man cell is, the rotator cuff is actually disengaged this way. You see my rotator cuff rotate. What that means is I'm losing a little bit of alignment and strength. So if Chris doesn't want to move, he's a big man. He's a lot stronger than me. When I was here, when I moved Chris's neck, don't move Chris. I can't move him because my rotator cuff is disengaged. Plus, I'm only using my tricep. So don't move again, Chris. But if I link it this way, now he has to move. Or you can see it better on this side. If I just do it like this and use my abs, it won't work. <coughs> right? But if I wrap it, it still won't work. Because how strong is my forearm muscle? It's not. But if I do it like this, it'll work for sure, right? Yeah, and the reason is, I'm going to explain that. Thanks, Chris. It's instead of using your arm and your abs to try to move this guy, the last one, what I did is, as I was moving my hand like this, I was linking my elbow to my ribs. So if I exaggerate it, it looks like this. That's the way I was moving. Essentially, I'm dropping all my weight on Chris's neck by linking the hand to the elbow and the elbow to the rib. Once that's linked, I drop. There's many exercises that you can learn how to do that, such as the wrapping movements you see in Mantis and Crane, right? Gojo Ru has it too. But one of the movements you can do is to split it, which you see in Xin Yi, you can see it in Tai Chi, you can see it in Bangla. All of this kind of rising and falling and turning kind of thing, and there's many ways to do it. One way is doing this. As you're learning how to do this idea of sp a spiraling over and down, once you learn how to do that, just you can even try it now at home. Rise up, turn, fall down. Rise up, turn, fall down. At the moment you're falling down, rise up, turn. At the very moment you start to fall down, think as though your elbow and the upper back ribs here, the base of the lungs, try to see if you can connect it together. At first, you'll feel really awkward, so just relax and be patient. You'll probably get it within 100 reps. You, you can even do like quarter movements, or you can go full movements. Don't worry about your legs, don't worry about speed or power. Just see if you can feel the coordination. And don't worry about the rising up part, because there's a lot of details for this part. I'm just going to skip it for today. And as you come down, right about there, you start to feel it engaging the back muscles. So now when you do a mansa or any movement for that matter, automatically when I'm pushing Chris down, this elbow has been programmed to link to my ribs. What that means is as soon as I move my quads, automatically I drop weight on his neck. And the neck back here is not that strong, of course, right? So that's one of the things you can work on. Now, of course, to pay credit, I, got, I learned this from Shin Yi, and it's all over mainland Wing Chun as well, but it's not um, classical Hong Kong Wing Chun. 
Train hearts, stay safe. See you next week, guys.